When it comes to outsourcing customer service or technical support, a lot of companies will look to India. The cost of labor is low and the time zone advantage allows employees to better connect with their customers all over the world. But with all this technology and infrastructure in place, some Indians have found opportunities to run their own kind of call center, a scam call center. And a lot of individuals who get their start working for legitimate Microsoft or Amazon call centers will soon get recruited to work for fake Microsoft or Amazon call centers where they can earn more, a lot more. Now, I don't like these scam call centers. I don't like what they're doing to innocent people. So I thought, what if I could turn the good guys against the bad guys? What if I could get a legit call center in India to flood the scam call centers, put them out of business, and get rid of this stereotype in India because not everyone on the phone with an Indian accent is trying to scam you. But you might think that with all these call center scams going down. Thank you for calling Geek Squad. How may I help you today? So today I'm gonna to show you how this can be done. I'm gonna show you the underworkings of these scam call centers, save some victims, and try to make these scammers lives as miserable as I can. But let's talk about what it takes to outsource a call center in India. A simple Google search will lead you to a whole list of companies that want to help you outsource your calls. These companies specialize in both inbound and outbound calls, and some say you can save up to 70%. So I fired off a message to one of these groups to get some more information, and one of them got back to me asking for more information about what I was trying to do. They asked about my company and what I wanted the call center to do and what my goals were. Okay, how am I gonna explain that I want these agents to call up known criminals and intercept scams? I probably should have thought this through, but I wrote back with some vague description of how I wanted them to do some awareness work related to fraud prevention. And this company wrote back and told me that I need to hire a minimum of five agents working 40 hours a week for at least a month with a rate of eight to $45 an hour, which meant that my project would be in the ballpark of somewhere between $6,936 to $39,420. You know, if I had Amazon or Microsoft's money, or if my name was Mr. Beast, I would totally go this route. But I'm just a guy making YouTube videos in my basement. So instead of hiring an established call center in India, I said, I'm gonna do what a lot of scammers do, and I'm going to create my own call center in India. And I'm gonna hire my own people. And as a scam baiter, you get to meet a lot of interesting people, including former scammers people who've spent years working in these call centers who know how the whole system works. And nothing would please them more than to make a couple bucks doing something honest and getting back at their former colleagues. So I got three former scammers willing to work in my call center and one of them agreed to speak out. See, I've been working as a scammer for three years, okay? And from like six or seven months, I was not even, I didn't knew that I was scaring people. I thought my job is to get remote of the computers and I was just uh, thinking that way. After six and eight months, I know that this uh, is not right. And this is all about scamming people and getting their money and stealing their money in the name of Amazon and Norton. I was not, I was not comfortable doing that, you know, I was not comfortable scamming people, you know, scamming mean like st stealing people stealing people's money and I'm not from that family, you know, I'm not from that family which allows me to steal money. And our little call center was going to operate like a lot of the up and coming scammers out there who save costs by working remotely out of their apartments. We just needed a couple laptops, headsets and some calling software. Now, most scammers use Xlight or iBeam, but some of the smaller call centers are just using TextNow or Skype because all you really need to scam is a phone number. Now, these days, most of the scams that we're seeing are inbound calls, which means scammers are coming up with ways to get you to call them. This might be with Microsoft pop-ups or emails from Amazon saying a charge was made without your knowledge, or they create websites to look like printer or OTT support. But let's talk about what's happening behind the scenes. When it comes to scammers in India, there are big players and little players, and the big players are the ones who specialize in creating the pop-ups or sending those emails. They have the resources and the means to blast out hundreds of thousands of emails and texts trying to get you to call in. But they make their money by selling these inbound calls to these smaller scammers. They call it call routing. So when you call that number on the email or the pop-up, you're calling a number set up by a vendor who then distributes it to the other scam centers who have paid him. And if you listen closely, 
You can even hear the call being forwarded. Now, call routing allows more scammers to get into the game because not everybody can create pop-ups or send out mass emails, but anyone can pay a vendor to forward calls to them. And these vendors have Telegram and WhatsApp groups where they advertise their services to other scammers. And as you can see, these calls aren't cheap. You might be paying 700 rupees per call, which is like eight bucks. But when you consider that you could steal $20,000 from a victim who calls in, you'll pay for those calls. So I thought I'd call up one of these scam centers to see where they were getting their calls from. Thank you for calling online support. How may I help you? Uh, hi there, sir. I'm interested in purchasing some calls. Do you sell calls or do you have a vendor that you can uh, refer me to? Which type of call you're talking about? Oh, like Amazon scam, Microsoft scam, pop-ups, that kind of thing. Can you tell me where you get... <laughs> I'm looking for some Microsoft or some Amazon calls. Are you able to provide a vendor that can sell those to me? We will contact you for sure. No, contact sure. me right now. We're, we're talking to each other right now. Where do you get your calls? Now, one of the reasons that scammers get so mad at you when you call in is because you just cost them money. They likely paid a couple hundred rupees for that call to come to them, so they're naturally going to be pissed at you and block that number so it doesn't happen again. Now, a lot of people ask me how these big scammers get their victim email addresses, and the answer is they're buying data lists just like any other advertiser. Data brokers are out there profiling millions of people and selling the information, and my sponsor, Aura, helps protect your privacy by continuously submitting your personal information, such as your name, phone number, and email address for removal. There's also data breaches happening all the time, and your personal info could easily fall into the wrong hands. Aura will work around the clock to make sure your credentials aren't just hanging out on the dark web, and it'll notify you if they are. Identity theft is becoming increasingly more common, and it's essential that your family is protected. When you sign up for Aura, you'll also have access to their other tools like fraud monitoring, antivirus, and even a password manager. Aura protects what's important in an all-in-one app. I'd recommend that you try it out for 14 days for free at Aura.com slash Pleasant Green and see what kind of information Aura can uncover. With how much cybercrime is increasing, it's at least worth trying out. So head on over using the link in my description and get started for free today. Now, you're probably thinking, Ben, why are you trying to get victim calls forwarded to you? You're not a scammer. Well, here's my thinking. The emails are already going out. People are calling in. But if I could get the calls forwarded to my call center instead of another call center, I'll get to save these victims from losing everything. And we've seen people like Jim Browning hack scammer systems and route the calls to himself. But unfortunately, I got a degree in marketing and not cybersecurity. So for educational purposes, I had one of my guys pay a scam vendor for 10 calls. Now, most scammers pay for hundreds of calls at a time. So I'm sure the vendor thought it was a little unusual to just sell 10, but hey, money is money. And if we can stop these 10 people from falling for it, that's 10 lives that will be a lot better off. So after paying in Bitcoin and confirming our slot, we sat by our computers and waited for the first calls to come in. Hi, thank you for calling. How can I help you? Hello, sir. Uh, I received an email saying that I purchased an iPhone 13 Pro on my Amazon account. It says it's a lot of money. Can you please uh, yeah, refund yeah. that? First, first, first of all, sir. We have intercepted this call, and this is a scam call center who scam people in the name of Amazon. These guys are not Amazon or Microsoft or anything. So the order is fake. Yeah, everything is fake. And if you want to double check, you can you can uh, go to your Amazon account and you can check your orders. There Thank is you nothing. So, Thank you so much, sir. No problem, uh, sir. I really appreciate. That. No problem. You have a very good day. And that's how it's done. Hi, how can I help you? Please tell me where I've called. I'm not sure if I've got the right number. You don't got all the tablet. It's a lie. They are all scammers. Do you know that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Y'all yeah. sending me messages about something about a tablet or something uh, I ordered. And this is a scam call. So do not fall for this, okay? If someone tells you like you need to go ahead and buy gift cards or buy any type of crypto, then it's a scam, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, sir. All right, no problem. Be safe. Thank you. Now, before we could get our 10th call, the ringing stopped. And we soon realized that the number that we were using was blocked by Skype. Somehow we got reported or Skype suspected that we were in cahoots with scammers, which I guess we were. And this is likely what happens to scammers multiple times a day. 
but they'll just get another number and keep going. But I wasn't going to keep going down that road and continue to give business to scammers. So I gave my team new instructions and I told them that we were going from inbound calls to outbound calls. Because remember, every time they receive a call, it costs them money. <laughs> Thank you for calling Geek Squad. How may I help you today? Uh, there is something that uh, an email I just received which says that there's some money which is going to be deducted from my account. I ordered. I didn't order anything. Now, it's a win if you could get someone to answer the phone, but it's an even bigger win if you can keep them on the phone for an extended period of time. Like, I'm not very tech savvy as I told you, so you want to have to bear with me. Because the longer that you talk to them, the less opportunities they have to receive calls from actual victims. Yes, I was on the uh, internet and uh, the screen is frozen on me, sir. And scammers will ultimately ask you to download screen control software so that they can take over your computer. Uh, what was the Click what, on the what, search box. What am I installing? Any desk application. I will spell that for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so to keep the call going, we'd go ahead and we'd let them on our computer. Tap on start broadcast. But we'd have a surprise waiting for them when they eventually took access. Can you see this? For the people, for the scammers like you, this is what they do in hell, okay? This is what they do in hell for scammers like you, mother You're ruining my country's name, mother Do you see what this happened? What happens to scammers like you? Do you see this? This is what the gods were gonna do to you. You trust in God, right, Laura? So we kept this up for most of the day because no one's going to shut down our numbers. Please close this thing. Uh, I'm watching it. I like this. Yeah, would you please tell me with whom I'm talking to right now? You're talking with your dad. Ask your mom about it. Hey. But after enough calls from us, they would eventually have no choice but to shut down theirs. The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. <laughs> and they would likely have to purchase a new toll-free number and reroute the calls with their vendor. We shut it down, bro. This one is shut down as well. Thank you for calling cancellation. This is Max. How may I help you? Hey, buddy. How much did your boss pay for you to get this call? Four lakh dollar. <laughs> Probably more than he pays you. <laughs> Cost them money. Slow them down. Keep them away from real victims. I'm in as well, and you're trying to scam other people. What the? Shut up. What, what the f Did he mark you, 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 are, you are one mother f You cannot speak in English, man. Shut up, you son of a bitch. You f oh, the remote of my computer, man? Oh, Guide no. me step by step, mother f I'm more experienced than you. Now, imagine with me if everyone watching this video took a few seconds to call a scammer today. Every call they received would cost them money, and you'd be keeping them busy and distracted so they couldn't scam another person. Imagine if this happened day after day. They couldn't keep running because there's way more of us than there is of them. We could all be remote employees under one unified call center. And working with former scammers has taught me that these guys are talented guys who could be doing so much more for a living. They could be providing value rather than stealing it. So how does it make you feel to turn away from scamming and actually do something that's worthwhile? It's a burden lifted off my shoulders. From three years, like I've been scamming people, but in three months, when I saved the victims, I just feel so good and I just, I could sleep at that time. All the scammers, if they are listening to this video, please stop it. And if you will stop it, you will feel good. This is a disgrace to India. Earlier, people used to know India as a very green, greenery thing, a nature-wise thing, right? But now whenever, whenever some, someone says India, the first thought people come to the mind is a scammer. So I just wanted to tell them that uh, to please stop it. And if you will stop it, you will feel good. You may have less money, but you will literally feel good. Trust me, I have done that and I'm literally feeling good. So let's slow down these scammers and force them into a better line of work. I want to thank my team of callers and everyone else for watching this video. Make sure that you check out my other videos that take you behind the scenes of these scams, and I'll see you next time.